on YouTube. It's me, Alex. Hello. I'm using a flip to record this, just so you know. But today's my birthday, and my parents got me the Triton AX, uh, the Triton Pro Plus, plus this neat little adapter. So I'm, today I'm going to be doing an unboxing video. I will be doing a instant reaction, so after just a little bit of playing with it, and then a few weeks, months later, however long I choose, to say how it's doing. And right now I'm just going to be unboxing it. So, first thing, I'm going to scoot the actual product aside, is this. If you can see this, it's a little adapter. I'll explain how it works once I get it open. Scissors. So this is a uh, PC adapter. It is not sold in the U.S., which is where I live, with the actual oops, headset. It is sold separately. What it does is basically takes the uh, input from the headset, the output or whatever it is from the headset, plugs it in here, transforms it into power, and then all the other cables. I think I believe pink is microphone. This is basic, and then there's the two other stair. There's the two other since it's a true 5.1 surround sound headset. That's about it. That's the input. Here's the outputs. 3.5 millimeter jacks, as you'd expect. I'll put that back aside. Now, for the Triton Pro Plus, this is the red version. There is also a black and a white version. The black. It looks exactly the same as this, except in black, gray stripes, white lights. The white is in white, orange stripes, orange lights. Same with the decoder box, which I'll explain later. Now to get it open. Oh, scissors. Don't fail me now. Yeah, that's... I cut that so smoothly over there. Okay. This would now is set. This is the most difficult part of unboxing it is this little slip. It slides off. Gives you basic information. There's the back, in case you didn't see it. Front, as you've seen a lot. And, bye. Okay. sec. That's that. Now we have this box. And in this box is the actual product. But, give me a second, I'm going to change camera angles. Do, 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 do. Okay, so I've switched, a set this, I've switched the camera angle so you can see the box a bit better as I open it. Oh, there's tabs there, but there's tape! Handy dandy scissors. Cut the stupid tape. Oh, okay. Mm, like a boss. Okay. Tape cut. Tabs. There's the headset. We'll get to that in a sec. First up, uh, we have two little pieces of paper. We have a little thing that says stop. Uh, if you experience any setup or mechanic problems with this product, do not return it to the retailer where it was purchased and said contact, contact Mad Cats for setup or other technical support. Please know this is for U.S. and Canadian support only. For internet support, blah, 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 blah. It's got some support stuff and stuff and stuff and stuff. Then we have the beautiful Triton instruction booklet. Open it up. What is included? How to attach the microphone. I don't know if you can see this. Microphone. How to connect it to your Xbox. How to connect it to the original Xbox. Another way to connect it to your original Xbox. There's the original Xbox, another way to connect it to your original Xbox. And then your PlayStation 3. Right there. For some reason, PlayStation 3 is the only one that has worded instructions. 
weird. That's all. That's all that is. Blah, blah, blah. Slide this back on. Dun, 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 dun. The beautiful, beautiful red headset. I'm just gonna snip these. There's two ties holding it in. Ooh, it's comfy. Do, 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 be right back. Hey, sorry, my dad had to talk to me. Now I'm back. So after I cut those, I'm going to pull out this little thing. If I can get it out, because it's a little thingy thing. Oh, first, there's the jack. The jack right in your face. Let me show you. See, here's my adapter. Here's the jack. Make sure you line up the angle right there. And boom! Whoa! These are usable now, but that's not the point of this video. And oh, there we go. I gotta push that. Give me a sec. Bandy man teenager strength. Okay, that was just the cable. Now, we pop this out of that. This here is the nice little um, control box thing. I'm going to slide this up so I can feel more comfortable. Okay, so you see? Here's this. Over here on this side you have push it down for a selective voice monitoring which allows you to hear yourself while you're talking through the mic so you can like hear yourself and not be like I can't hear myself because these headsets are so awesome. Over here, a little mute mic switch. Boop. Um, out here on the bottom is for the Xbox 360 controller connector. Um, then you can select with these buttons which speakers you want to adjust. Adjust the volume there. Push down on it to mute the headset volume. Push it down to allow it again. Right there, see that? This is the lower and upper. Push it down to mute and unmute. And then you can select each of these and specify your settings for each of the speakers. We've got front, center, rear, and sub. And then on the back, you have a nice little clip. Okay, that's the little clip thing that clips on to you. Yep, and then the cable again. It's an extra long cable, so how much is bundled up with it. Wait, what's that? And now... I'm gonna pop these out off the screen. Here we go. The headset. The actual headset. Um, they swivel, as you can tell, this way. Um, the cable and the mic are both on the left ear. So, as you can see, the mic, the cable, extra rectangular um, pads. I'm gonna turn them so you can see. It's got some nice movement. It moves nice and smooth. Ear pads have a lot of cushion. And then up here, you've got the top cushion bit right there. I'm going to put these on real quick, so just see how they feel. One sec. Okay. These are pretty comfortable. They're going to take a bit of getting used to, mainly because I've been using... One sec. This Logitech cheapo work headset thing that's wireless and it's over ear microphone who cares about that when you've got this which oh, that was on ear sorry this is over ear as you can see because your ear will fit in there um and it's definitely wired obviously if it wasn't wired what would be the point of this cable uh it's got some really nice movement i've got a relatively small head because i'm only a teenager Again, it fits on my head without me having to adjust it, so it's basic, but it does have sizes 1 through 8 heads, so it could be, I'm going to put these on on the maximum side. Okay, so yeah, they, the, when, I, when these are maximum, um, this pad touches my head, but these are like really like loose and almost down to my neck. It's got some big range for a bigger head. These are nice. Um, now to the rest of the stuff. Do 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 do. 
Um, we'll get to some of the other stuff in a bit. First off, give me a sec, because these boxes... Here, wait, let me show you. These boxes and stuff are in here tight. I'm going to do the smaller box. Uh -huh. First, and then the slightly bigger than the red box, which I'll explain what it is in a bit. Over here, very basically, power adapter for the decoder box. Oh, cool. That's cool. They send you with a little adapter for your country. So for the U.S., we've got this two-pronged or three-pronged, depending on what kind of port it is. If you're watching this in another country, I have no idea what your port is like, so I can't be like, hey, hey, hey. But it, ex talk it talked about that in the instructions that it comes with other ports. It just clips on right here, and then if you need to change, change it, it pops out really easy. Um, and you've got your typical plug right here. Nothing special. Used in a lot of things. I'm going to put that to the side. Next is the slightly bigger box. Well, the pretty much the larger box. Here it is. Da -da -da -da. All of these have the nice Triton logo, which is T. And I'm pretty sure it's pronounced Triton, but some people would pronounce it Triton. Sorry, scissors. There's some tape on it. It's hard to see. Um, no idea which is the correct way to pronounce it. If you really want to know, send Triton, send Triton or Triton or whatever it is an email on how to pronounce their company's name. Because I cannot tell you. There we go. The correct way to pronounce it because I am not Triton, Triton, whatever it is. I'm going to call it tri Triton though just because that's what I've heard and it sounds cooler that way in my opinion. That slab slides out. This bit pops up and there's a bunch of things in here. First off are the Xbox 360 controller cables. Set. And pop these out. You've got two. First off is for your typical Xbox 360 controller. Fits on there perfectly. Um, the jack that goes in the headset, which is... Looks like 3.5 millimeter. One sec. Yep. I'm pretty sure it's... Oh, sorry. 3.5 millimeter. And then you've got your 2.5. I don't know what it is for the Xbox 360. This is for your... Standard Microsoft issued Xbox 360 controller. Now this one, basically same cable except it's designed mainly for your aftermarket Xbox 360 controllers. You see how this one has the couple that fits on that fits for sure on the Microsoft ones. This one doesn't, so it can fit on anything. Right now, I I only have Microsoft, which is fine, so I can use this one, which will stay on better probably. Here's that. Um, next thing in the little box. We have ourselves an Xbox 360, like for the original Xbox 360, optical adapter. This goes into the audio slot, big chunky cable, logo, and then out comes your audio right there. It's designed for you to use HDMI as your your video output, and then this is your audio output. Pretty simple. This is thick. Um, there's the output right there. And yada yada yada. I don't need that since I have the new Xbox 360 Slim. Next cable in the box is the USB 2.0 cable. USB 3.0, which is slightly bigger, but this is primarily this provides power somewhat for the headset. But if you're using PlayStation, this is how you use voice. Plug this into the decoder box, plug this into your PlayStation, and you have voice. That's about it. It's got a little USB logo right there. No, I, can't, I don't know if you can see that because it's kind of hard to see. Um, yeah, I personally don't need that that much. Um, I'll get to that last. That's the last thing I want to do out of this box. You'll see what it is in a sec because this is the second last thing. Then we have our nice Triton issued... Let's see. I can't tell if it's gold. What kind of plated that is for the audio? Probably able to tell. No, I can't. Well, optical cable for the audio. You need this for consoles, and then if you didn't get the adapter for the PC, and you've got these little caps off. Oh, it's really, it's really thin. Look how thin that is. Dang, it's thin. Um, there's one end. Take. It's got this little. 
white clear plastic cap on it. There's that end. I think they're both the exact same thing, so they can go either way. Same thing on either end. I'm going to see. I'm going to put the caps back on just so because when I plug this into my Xbox, I don't want it to be broken. Um, and then last but not least is the the Triton Pro Plus microphone. Oops, it's stuck. There you go. So you see, you've got this nice little microphone tip there. It says Triton on this side. It's a nice rigid, stiff, bendy mic. Like, like bends really well. Look at this. I don't want to bend it too much because I can break it. But it sticks. It's not going to like slowly bend out or fall down. It sticks well. Um, you can see these two little prongs sticking out. You can see it better like right there and right there. Those are what lock it into the headset, which I'm going to show you right now. So there were some instructions in there to show you that you've got to let's see. There's a little tiny arrow that you can't see on there unless you have it physically in your hand. You gotta line it up with the arrow on the little logo right there. Twist until the arrow is lined up with the lock. This isn't coming out anytime soon. And then I can just rotate this and then bend it to my likings. Wow, this really is like a great feeling, Mike. I have no idea how the quality is. When I make the like first reactions video, this will be using this mic so you can tell what it sounds like, but yep. Yeah. Mm, microphone. Ma ma ma. You can see my face a bit there, but yep. Yeah. That's those boxes and now finally the last piece Oh, headset. Okay, this is a tough one. Mm. Yeah, yeah, here we go. Ah, got it out. Sorry if you saw some of that. This is the decoder box. There's a little sticker on the back that tells you what to do. It says, plug in power here. Oh, it says, no, it's take off the little caps and make sure you plug it in straight. Isn't that helpful? Nope. Because it's covering your analog output for 5.1 surround sound. Front surround front surround and sub. That's the back. Power output of 5.1 surround sound. Optical cable. USB, fat USB power. Oh wow. You get it. Uh, I'm going to take the cables out from over here and show you. So, you have your thick, of your fat USB, I heard someone call it and I like it too. And you plug it in there where it says USB. I'll make sure it's lined up correctly. I had it upside down. Typically the little logo goes up. That's done. This would go into Xbox, PlayStation, PC, whatever you're using. Um, power adapter, this little thing. Ta-da, that's in. And then my optical cable. Make sure you have the flat end up. And ta da. That's it. It's all in. I'm going to unplug it real quickly because I don't want to leave these cables in there. Uh, on the top, there's a Triton logo. It says Dobbly Digital Surround Sound. Over here, Master Volume, again, Power. I believe center and rear. I have no idea what that does. I swear, I have no idea. And you got the button. This is got center, rear. I think something that says TD. No idea. That's Dolby Digital something, some something. And then you can put two headsets in for some reason, which makes no sense to me. But okay. Basically, what this thing does is it takes your com uh, compound optical audio cable and turns it into 5.1 surround sound and outputs it into these jacks which you plug into your head headphones so that it can use the five or so speakers it has in each ear cup to make a true surround sound experience. Yeah, looks pretty cool. Power button, 
volume plus, volume minus buttons that I have no idea what they do. Inputs, um, inputs, I mean outputs, wow, outputs, inputs, outputs. That's about it. I will do my first reactions video soon. Expect it up, uh, like not too long after this, so see you next time. Do 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 do.